Hi everyone, welcome to February Supper Clubs. Um, as you know, this season we are looking at racism, being an anti-racist church, and we're following the PCUSA 21 day anti-racism challenge. And for this month of February, we're looking at day 15 and day 16. Day 15 is a, the, the study guide that they use, the PCUSA study guide, chapter five. Day 16 is a really interesting TED talk. I found the TED Talk uh, very compelling and worthy of um, not only watching, but sharing with your family and friends. Uh, it's done by a woman named Vera Myers. Vera is the inclusion and diversity uh, executive for Netflix. And she also has a company that helps companies uh, in, in incorporate uh, more diverse um, diversity policies within their uh, companies. Anyways, her, her the title of this talk is um, Moving Toward Your Racism. And uh, a couple of her points, first one being that we need to stop denying, being in denial about our own racism and that racism is in, um, embedded in the structures of our society. But, but secondly, I found so compelling her um, encouragement of changing our biases against African-American men and and changing the images and the impulses that we have to stereotype and prejudice um, against African-American men. And that was so um, helpful to me. And so we really encourage you to watch that TED Talk. It's going to be a great conversation. Yeah, it's powerful. Um, chapter, fifth, chapter 5, Day 15, uh, the study guide is also really worth uh, digging into we often get asked, you know, why do we need to be focusing so much on racism? Why can't we just move on? There's a sense of that, um, and I'll and I'll say I I acknowledge that. I feel that too. I wish we could, um, but I think what we're doing is is unpacking the way the past um, is still impacting the future. Is one of the most compelling arguments for why we need to still be doing this. Uh, it goes through economics, education, policing, mass incarceration, and immigration as topics. Um, I found especially helpful, I've heard this before, and I, I find it one of the most powerful arguments for why we need to be doing this work is around economics and the ways that policies for, you know, after 400 years of slavery, then policies of Jim Crow laws that kept black families from being able to purchase a home or get a, a loan um, have set up a world where, you know, just as a real personal example, you know, my wife wanted to go back to school a couple of years ago um, I know that we have our parents and that safety net yeah. um, that we can fall on if we needed it. And that allows us to take that risk. Um, and the statistics are there that white families on average have a half a million dollars more wealth than black families on average. Wow. That's staggering. Yeah. And yeah. we just can't say that that's not impacting our world right. or where we're headed. So. Yeah, the generations of poverty that continue and continue because there's no way to break out of that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Chapter does a really nice job of just laying that out. Um, so take a look at those. There's yeah. some study questions uh, at the end of that chapter. We'll, we'll put out a couple for you to be uh, talking about. Great. We hope these uh, supper clubs are going well for you at the, at, not at the very least that you're enjoying each other's company, um, but that you're having good conversation. Um, even if you're not following the curriculum so closely, um, have good conversation, have rich conversation around uh, these issues that are uh, plaguing us. So be well. All right. Blessings. Enjoy.